Hi, I'm Mike Johnson, and I'll be speaking to you about phenomenology and network learning. I'm normally in Wales, a spot on the map marked the flag of St. David, the patron saint. This picture shows me in Greece. This was 2008 for the sixth international conference on network learning. This is the first time I presented a paper, although I had attended first in 2004. It was also the first time the conference had gone to a country other than the UK. The co-chairs have been from Denmark and Australia since 2014. And that's the last we saw of the sun for three days. My paper was about the students' use of anonymity in university online discussion forums, and you can read that and all the conference proceedings for free. Uh, they've been free to access since 1998, and it is a tremendous resource. In the Network Learning Conference community, you have a ready-made international community of scholars and connections. I think you can see from the map there. The heart of network learning conferences, unsurprisingly, network learning, but it is a welcoming and broad church in terms of methodologies and themes. Uh, the diversity of this community, its international nature is really wonderful and it can enrich, inform, challenge and develop you. So I'd really encourage you to seriously consider getting involved, submit a paper in October and you'll find out in December whether it's been accepted in time for next year's conference in Sweden. There's lots of learning technology conferences, but it really starts to bear fruit if you select one and commit to that over a long period of time, I found. However, as you can see from the map stars, the diversity is rather limited to rich countries, and maybe you can help us to address that. Moving on to talk about Hanvod then. So Hanvod is Welsh or Cymraeg for essence which is a key term in phenomenology, as you may know. Hanvod began because I reached out to Felicity Healy Benson because we we're both presenting about phenomenology at last year's conference. So it happens that she's from down the road in Llanelli. The Network Learning Conference Consortium were interested in sponsoring node events in the in-between years, the conference is biennial. And so one event is used to take place in May in Malta, and we were charged with organizing one in Cardiff in June. For various reasons, partly COVID related, we decided to do this more or less independently of our respective universities. And so we created Hanvod as a learned society. We both agreed that network learning could make more and better use of phenomenology, but there were certain barriers to entry for that. So we wanted to do something about those. We've, so we've got these joint aims of trying to clarify, coalesce and strengthen phenomenology and network learning. To do this, we've instigated a few interventions. We're hoping, we were hoping to have a Petra Kucha session with scholars speaking about their own experiences of phenomenology and network learning. Unfortunately, that couldn't happen. So we've decided to go with trying to fulminate a series of short videos of them doing that. So we're in hot pursuit of contributors. We want to hear from people who use phenomenology to inform their research, preferably in pursuit of questions related to network learning. We've been working with Professor Kathy Adams of Alberta, who we anointed our Phenomenologist Presswill, which is Welsh for phenomenologist in residence. First time that phrase has ever been used, I think. She comes from Max von Mannen's stable of a phenomenology of practice approach uh, in these two aspects. We've got a live online workshop to find out more about that in June 10th to the 11th over two days from 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. And you're warmly invited to join in that. Please do join us. Um, then we were intending to write a paper about learners' experiences of Zoom breakout rooms, which we hope is going to be useful and ready for October, which is the deadline, as I said, for submitting full papers to the Network, Network Learning Conference in Sweden next year. And if you attend the workshops, we might be able to coalesce a symposium for the conference and develop those into a journal special edition or a book in the Network Learning series published by Springer. This is all through the generous support of the Network Learning Conference collaboration um, and Kathy Adams, who has invested a lot of time in us in Hanvod. One final point, uh, if you want to find out more about phenomenology and phenomenography, you could attend the meeting and the meet and event later this month.